A Chinese startup shocked the world of tech this week with the launch of its latest AI model. According to experts, DeepSeek is not only better than global industry leading models, but it comes at a fraction of the cost. What does such a model mean for Africa? CGTN's Nick Mudimba has been finding out. A surprisingly efficient and powerful Chinese AI model is the latest tech disruptor. DeepSeek, a startup that was born just a year ago, has managed a breakthrough beating its far more famous rivals in the world, but at a fraction of the cost. It was able to take training cost all the way from 6.6 billion uh, US dollars down to 5 million US dollars, right? And how they did that was, one of the things they did was eliminating human in the loop. They basically enforced something called reinforcement learning. So what reinforcement learning simply does is, let's say for example you have a robot in the room and you start a fire in the room, right? You don't tell the robot to switch off the fire, you just let it see what happens to the surrounding environment and then it realizes, I don't want this fire to catch me. So ultimately it will just switch off the fire, right? So what reinforcement learning simply does is, it will try to learn uh, data on its own, the R1 model released this month is also known as the reasoning model, which tries to tackle complex problems efficiently, step by step, getting good results with fewer resources. The, the recent shift that we witness with uh, DeepSeek being able to do a lot of research with less compute compared to other state-of-the-art models such as uh, ChatBeat. ChatGPT really shows us that we've not hit the ceiling in terms of AI research. We've not hit the ceiling in terms of um, AI infrastructure. So the assumption uh, with most companies, uh, especially overseas, is for you to train the state-of-art models, you need at least um, 100 billion or millions of dollars to even get to the closer level of what ChatGPT, ChatGPT is doing. So that really shows us that there, there's still so much space for innovation, there's still so much space for optimization, and the China guys just showed us it's possible. So that has caused a very big seismic shift in terms of um, valuations, in terms of um, the perception around now. When you're building an AI startup, you start with a very big budget of AI training. So I think the focus now moves to optimization and doing research. AI is now used hugely in the fields of agriculture, health and of course service provision. Many of the AI companies are coming up with strategies to talk to end users on how to improve the services and this is making it very competitive. According to experts, Africa's AI industry has a huge potential with its abundant resources and growing workforce, with China now showing the continent that you can do much with less. Open source is king and DeepSeek has shown us that. Um, they've leveraged, they've capitalized on the open source research from the other big companies such as Meta, OpenAI, Google and so on. So they're building upon what other people have already done. And that's now the opportunity for Africa. We've been shown that it is possible to optimize, it is possible to do much with less. So we have a very big opportunity to tap into these open source models that are being built out. We fine tune them and then optimize them for our market. So there's a very big opportunity for businesses to now follow the same direction and invest intentionally in open source um, um, research uh, from the telcos to the banks here in Africa. They have to invest. We need to solve the language barrier problem here locally. That's just one of the major things that we've not really solved in a very good way. DeepSeek app can compose software code, solve math problems and address other questions that take multiple steps of planning. It has attracted attention for its ability to explain its reasoning in the process of answering questions. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.